United Launch Alliance, or ULA, first agreed to buy the engines from Blue Origin back in 2014. It was a bold bet by ULA, a blue blood in space launch, on a new entrant to the market. But with a BE-4 engine, Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos was promising a relatively low-cost, high-performing engine with a power output comparable to Space Shuttle main engine. At the time of this initial agreement, Blue Origin said that the BE-4 would be ready for flight by 2017. Five years have passed since then, but that dream has not yet come true. So where are the engines at? Are they here? Uh, let's see. What exactly went wrong with Blue Origin's BE-4 engine? All will be revealed in today's episode. The first thing we have to figure out is why the engines are late in the first place. One of the most persistent problems is that the BE-4 engine testing and development program has been relatively hardware poor in recent years. Effectively, this means that the factory in Washington has not had enough components to build development engines. It was surprising to hear this because back in the spring of 2017, Blue Origin stated publicly that its development program was hardware rich. After arriving as CEO in late 2017, however, Bob Smith appears to have focused more on a substantial reorganization of Blue Origin's leadership rather than hardware development. Other programs were prioritized as well, so the BE-4 team did not get all the resources and freedom it needed to proceed at full throttle. Many speculate that the problem lies in the engine itself. The GAO report last summer appears to support this assertion. Although the report does not identify the engine directly, it states that technical challenges facing the development of Vulcan's engines have endangered the timely launch of national security missions. A U.S.-produced rocket under the development for ULA's Vulcan launch vehicle is experiencing technical challenges related to the igniter and booster capabilities required and may not be qualified in time to support first launches beginning in 2021. By August of 2021, it had become clear, even publicly, that the BE-4 engine program was in trouble. Delays had been accumulating in the program for four years, including turbo pump problems, combustion instability, overheating, and shorter than planned engine life. Blue Origin has also had to deal with stringent requirements from ULA for aspects such as combustion instability. This potential problem has plagued US rocket engines since the massive F-1 engine built for the Saturn V rocket in the 1960s. Combustion instability involves rapid, unexpected pressure changes inside the thrust chamber during the ignition of fuel and oxidizer. If this instability propagates, it can destroy an engine. In addition, there have been other development struggles as well. Blue Origin spent much of 2019 redesigning turbo machinery within the BE-4 engine, and then testing those fixes late that year and into 2020. COVID-19 also impacted development and testing, with engineers largely working remotely in 2020. That made it more difficult to be hands-on with the engines alongside the technicians in the factory. Vulcan's schedule has been an issue of concern in the National Security Space Launch Program as the vehicle is slated to replace ULA's Atlas V rocket that uses the Russian-built RD-180 engines. They hope Vulcan provides lower-cost launch services with engines manufactured in the United States. So then what is the future for BE-4 and Vulcan? ULA was projecting a 2021 debut for Vulcan, but BE-4 engines have not yet been delivered and Vulcan's first flight timetable continues to shift to the right. ULA now projects receiving engines in mid-2022 and flying Vulcan by year's end. Meanwhile, ULA's margin for scheduled slippage keeps shrinking as Vulcan must complete two successful launches, one for commercial customers Astrobotic and one for Sierra Space, before it can be certified by the U.S. Space Force to fly national security missions. ULA so far has been assigned four missions under its National Security Space Launch Phase II contract. Due to Vulcan delays, ULA's first Phase 2 mission has already been reassigned to the company's legacy rocket Atlas V. 
Vittori Bruno, ULA's CEO, said Vulcan will be ready for NSSL missions in 2023. If that doesn't happen, using the Atlas V would no longer provide a backup option. ULA sold its remaining Atlas V inventory to Amazon to launch the Project Kuiper Internet Constellation. If Vulcan is not yet ready for NSSL launches by 2023, the next option for the Space Force would be to reassign ULA's mission to SpaceX. The reason to have two launch providers is that if something happens to one, you've got another one to rely on, noted Kendall, the US Air Force Secretary. Indeed, contingency plans are always necessary. But the recent actions of Blue Origin are giving hope to ULA and space enthusiasts to see Vulcan fly this year. When asked on the 22nd of February what's the latest on BE4, Tori Bruno replied, In Blue's production factory getting built, so far so good. Quality testing in parallel, gazillion seconds of runtime and starts. Better performance than I expected supports Vulcan flying this year. And I've gotta say, that's definitely a relief to hear. Before that, on December 3rd of 2021, Tori Bruno said, Blue Origin is performing final testing of the BE-4 engines that will boost ULA's Vulcan rocket. The COVID epidemic has affected them and their supply chain, and it's just taking a little bit longer. But they're doing very, very well, he added. There have been no problems with them, and in fact, we're doing the final testing, or what we call certification testing, and that is just going really, really well. And I can't wait to see Vulcan fly. Do you believe Jeff Bezos will deliver BE4 to Bruno this year? Our comment section is open. Share your opinion by comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification to make sure you won't miss any new updates from Alpha Tech. Thanks and see you next time.